So Prince is still on three legs. He's doing pretty good at it though. So Prince and I just got outside and earlier he was putting a little bit of pressure on his foot but outside he probably doesn't want to put his foot on the ground because it's really cold and because it hurts. So it's like twice as bad out here. He wants to get his exercise in. He wants to chase his cats, right Prince? You want to chase your cats? I think he just has to take a break because as you can see he puts his foot down every once in a while so it is getting better. So that's good. See, he's actually got his foot on the ground right now. And if you just massage his leg, you'll get better, right? Yeah. And he's wagging his tail. He's good. He's a strong dog. It's kind of like when you have a stomach ache. You don't have to go to the doctor, right? It's not serious. It'd be another thing if he was whimpering and he just didn't want to move and stuff like that. But I think this is like his equivalence of like a sprained, stubbed toe. All the fans would be so happy for you, Prince. They love you too. It's cold out there. It's cold and it's white and, well let's just say it's really, really easy to get hypothermia. You have to dress extremely warm and then you can't do anything stupid. And what I mean by that is you don't want to just go out of your house with, with nothing but underwear on right now. Saying that, let's warm up the garage. I got my big tub of diesel here. I just filled up my torpedo heater. The BMW is so frozen. Well, let me just show you. Right after I turn this thing on. I had to get under the hood of the BMW today and I had to shovel all the snow off. It was deeper than this. It's probably about as deep as this. About a foot and a half. So the BMW is a little cold. Luckily the Duramax has gone out and played recently so it's not too cold. But snow is so much fun. I'm sure the BMW is just a pouting. A lot of people are wondering what this is. That's a prison cell. <laughs> This lighting is so awesome, it makes it look like, you know, when you're around a campfire and you have the flashlight under your eyes. It makes it look so evil. No, it's actually like an old school oil changing rig, I believe. I just have like two boxes in there. This is where I used to drain my oil. There's a couple buckets filled with oil down there. But it's just cut in half right here. You can open this. This is amazing. I just found two brand new tires. Not really. I, I just forgot that they were there. I believe those are actually paint. I'm not too sure. I got two winter tires down here and just some paper towels. Actually, I might want to grab those winter tires and try to sell those this year. I have no other use for them. They don't fit any of my vehicles. I do apologize for my heater in the background, but I have to allow this place to warm up so I don't freeze my fingers off. They're already cold as it is. I'm sure you guys completely understand where I'm coming from, but I kind of want to change things up a bit. I'm thinking this thing. I need a shave. But it does keep my face a little extra warm. It's not about muscles, it's about just trying to fit it through here. Like I could just rip it out of here, but then I'll tip over my bikes, I'll throw this stuff everywhere. No good. No good at all. This thing looks awesome. Why did I put this thing away for so long? Doesn't this thing look amazing? Like, such an awesome time. I turned off my heater for you guys so that I can freeze my, I mean, explain why I put this thing away for the time that I did. I actually built this, I think, a year and a half ago. I didn't finish it. Just like a lot of the things, I just start and I don't finish. Not because I quit or I give up. Something more important comes up. You, you understand. Sometimes you just have to drop certain things so you can do the others. That's life. That's just how it works. You guys know. So the biggest three problems with this machine I remember. This simple design doesn't have a differential. What that means is these two tires don't spin at different rates. It's just like the BMW. They're locked together. So when I turn, one tire skips while the other tire spins. Now, that wasn't a big problem before I welded this bike like a chopper. Now it's got the chopper style to it. Now you can even hear the tire screech when I turn the tire. Hear that? One of them drags. So that was the first problem. The second problem is the clutch isn't right. 
The way it's gotta work is when I pull this clutch up, this belt tightens, and then you're moving. When the bar is down, the belt loses tension, and then no longer goes. You have to have a clutch in a situation. Like even on automatic vehicles, they still use the same thing. Otherwise your engine just, it wouldn't work. That's the simplest answer. Even mini four wheelers, even mini bikes, anything small, if it has an engine and it has wheels, it has some sort of clutch mechanism. Third thing was this tensioner. As you can see, there's a chain here. It goes from a belt drive to a chain drive. You can't see that, what am I talking about? It goes from the belt drive onto a jack shaft and then, and then it turns into a chain drive. See, the problem is, is the tensioner system wasn't working at all either. So as you can see, it's kind of loose. Now it's taut. Loose, taut. So now I have to do something about that. So there's three things I have to do before I can even ride this thing. I built this thing way before I went to welding school. And then when I finally got there, I made a couple modifications, did a couple rewelds, and it's still it's still a huge mess, but it's a it, but it's a fun mess. And I want to make it an even funner mess because I want it to actually work. So the first system I want to work on is this tensioner system, and I think I came up with a good design. That's kind of like a dirt bike. There's just points in our lives when words don't really do it justice. We got to show people what's going on. I had to come inside and get something to eat. But I also wanted to show you guys something else. I actually broke a piece of my camera mount. The funniest part is, is like 30 minutes ago, I actually ordered another one of these things. I bought a better one. But it's just funny that I, I had the intuition to buy one before it actually broke, and then 30 minutes later, it breaks. Soup time. Even though that doesn't look like good soup. Don't worry, Mom, it's not your soup. It's out of the can. You guys wanna hear something super disgusting? The can said best by January 2016. Check your calendar. If I get sick, you'll know why. There's a lot of benefits to bacteria, isn't there? with a relatively simple idea for the clutch. I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel, but I'm also not trying to build a rocket ship. Now I just kind of feel like test riding it. I'm not quite sure what's going to happen, but there's a reason why I put it away and didn't really screw with it. I don't think just a simple clutch fix and a simple tensioner thing is really going to put this thing on the road forever. I think this quick little test spin will tell us how big of a project it really is going to be. Now this is a brand new engine, like it has zero run time. So this will be its first ever run. I had to put something a little warmer on. Kind of. This mask looks crazy. Did you Yeah. Yeah. Too bad it don't work. Not. Not yet. Can I look at it real quick? Yeah, you can. I guess this guy wants to check it out. To tell you the truth, I wouldn't mind going down to Florida to hang out with Adam LZ. Or anybody else down south who likes to get into trouble. I mean, have fun. But I think the plan is we're gonna go back to the four-wheeler, get the four-wheeler all tied down, get one less project off the board, do the old check, just check it right off the list, and then maybe we can take that out and have fun with that. I know you guys are filled with awesome ideas, so leave them in the comment section below. I'll see you soon. Until tomorrow, 3D Machines out. Mm-hmm.
Oh, 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 oh,